I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Call this meeting, West Spring City Council, to order. Roll call, please. Crowner. Here. Raleigh. Here. Stewart. Here. Lees. Here. West. Here. Okay. We need to perfect and improve the agenda. So move. Support. Motion with support. Any discussion? We'll call. Raleigh. Aye. Stewart. Aye. Lees. Aye. West. Aye. Crowner. Aye. Motion carried. Consent agenda. Motion to approve is presented. Support. Motion with support to approve consent agenda items one through eight, which are the minutes of the regular city council meeting on March 6, 2013. Uh, approve a taxi service renewal for A to C taxi and delivery service. Approve finance officer Sattler's attendance at the spring IMFOA conference. Uh, approve a payment to Bower Build. Approve a payment to Burlington Municipal Waterworks. Uh, approve a payment to the City of Burlington. Approve a payment to Moyne County Regional Waste Commission and approve the claims as presented in the amount of $223,274.23. That breaks down the general fund $51,367.96. Road use $11,004.50. LMI set aside $102,405. Water $36,018.30. Uh, the Beaverdale escrow 1975. Westwood Hills escrow 1975, Woodsman Escrow 1975, Sewer $15,863.75, uh, Risk Management Self Insurance $4,645.99, Flex Account $1,712.52, Agency Fund $177.55, and the 4th of July celebration of $19.41. Any discussion? Roll call. Stewart. Aye. Lees. Aye. West. Aye. Crown. <coughs> Aye. Raleigh. Aye. Motion carried. Committee reports. Finance. Rod, you got any going? Uh, not really. I was wanting to ask Mike about one thing off that claims list. I didn't want to pull it off there or anything. Down towards the bottom of there, there's a, or maybe Leslie knows, it says West Burlington Firefighters FF donation $299.70. I just I hadn't noticed seeing that before and I uh, with the new system okay all right thanks other than that I don't have anything new for finance sir anybody have anything for finance all right streets Rick no I don't have anything and oh Randy is here <laughs> and Randy may have something uh, the only thing I have is we've been doing a little patch in the last couple of weeks um, the streets are pretty well taken care of going to wait till it warms up and dries up and we'll start in on the alleys um, and we're going to wait till after this weekend to see if we get the snow they're talking about and then we'll probably be done with our <laughs> put our snow removal equipment away so that's we all I have I would make one quick comment that a little patching would be a slight understatement uh, you've been doing a lot of patching and, and I did have one businessman Mr. Steve Ritter down at Ritter's comment about what a good job you did on, on Broadway Street, just so that you Pass know. Pass that along. Okay, just so that you know. Thanks. Anybody else have anything for streets? Public safety. I don't have anything. I got a few things. The police department just finished up filing for the Governor's Traffic Safety Bureau grant for the 2013-2014 year. We kind of average four employees working overtime for 190 hours for strictly um, traffic enforcement. We also applied for equipment in that grant for one radar unit to replace an aging radar unit that we have. I'd also like to extend my thanks and the department's thanks to the Iowa State Penitentiary for the use of their canine program. 
Last Thursday, Iowa State Penitentiary sent two K-9 units and their handlers to assist West Burlington Police Department in a locker check at the West Burlington Junior Senior High School. This is the second search this year, and I was happy to report that we found no illegal drugs were discovered on um, the school grounds and both of the surprise searches. Right now, Sergeant Ryan, Officer Covert, and I are currently down at the auditorium taking Alice training. Alice is a training to uh, fight against an active shooter. Um, first responders are the people that are there at the active sh shooters. And I'm happy to report that the West Burlington School System has went through the same training that we have, and today Southeastern Community College is there. So hopefully we'll all get together and come up with a good program for our schools and our businesses. And lastly, I'd like to invite uh, the council, the mayor, and the citizens of West Burlington to DARE graduation on Tuesday, March 26 at 2.30 p.m. held at the West Burlington Elementary School. This is Officer Covert's first year, first DARE graduation, and he's done a wonderful job teaching and keeping our students safe. Any questions? Chief, they, they, would those dogs detect residue if there was odor on the kids' jackets, that sort of thing? Or? It will detect some residue, correct, But they didn't that light. They didn't, nothing. They, the first time, they, there was absolutely nothing. The dogs did hit on one, but ended up being nothing on the second search. You think... Uh, less pot being smoked or that they're just not bringing it into the schools? I think they're keeping off school grounds. I think with the surprise searches that we've set up, the kids all know <laughs> we're there, so they have no idea what time we're coming or where. I just like to commend the school for letting us help and trying to keep drugs off the school grounds. Okay. Well, it's a whole lot tougher to get in and out of that school, those schools, than it was just a couple of short years ago, too. I, that's good. Well, that's an amazing fact with what you hear. Mm -hmm. you, you would suspect, if you just read the paper or listened to the news, that you would have found something. Yeah. Yeah, well. So that's great. I mean, that's, that's a wonderful thing. I mean, we have found some yeah. in past years. But that's a wonderful this thing. This is great that this program is there, and it's great that the penitentiary allows two of their officers and two of their canines to come up to assist. Also, I would like to also thank Des Moines County Sheriff's Department sent their SO and Southeast mm -hmm. Iowa Narcotics Task Force had two people there also helping. So. Okay. I wonder if you can't go in the parking lot probably. Yes, we do search oh. the vehicles in the car, in the parking lot too, and there was absolutely no <laughs> indications there by the dogs that there was. Wow. They don't hit on just regular cigarette smoke, do they? No. <laughs> there probably Tobacco. be a few of them out there. <laughs> hey. Anything else for Chief? Uh, Mike? Uh, under Buildings, Klein Center passed their uh, federal and city inspection. They did get a, cer a certification of occupancy, and I think they're starting to move their patients in today. I'm also working with a contractor on Mediacom's new location for their site, uh, they've been looking since the fire uh, last spring, and we're working on code requirements, and we should have a building uh, permit request any time. On the fire side, the uh, SCBA testing, uh, the bids will go come to the council on April the 3rd. The testing is set for June the 3rd, and the pump test is being scheduled now for the two pumpers in the truck. Uh, we are having maintenance issues with uh, the ball valves on engine two and three. We have new kits ordered and they have to be installed prior to the testing. The testing will be done in May, which includes the oil changes to the pumps and any pump adjustments as needed in the pump test itself. That's all I've got. We have anything for the Chiefs. Utilities, Carol. I don't have anything, Rini. Um, just a couple things. Um, next week, we're going to try to disconnect the water and sewer at the new public works facility site. And we, I've been talking to Dave Stockloss more and more all the time. 
I think um, we're looking at possibly our next meeting to look at the updated plans to be um, on April April 4th. Everything's moving along smoothly on that and staff is working very closely with them to try to make sure that uh, we come out with the best building that we can get. Anything else for utilities? Sanitation. I don't have anything. Randy? Um, we did um, a pressure test at the West Lift Station last week. We've got all our pumps back now. Um, the air release valve has been ordered, and probably in the next three to four weeks, they'll be installing that at the West Lift Station, and then hopefully we can close that project out after that. How about spring cleanup? Have you thought about that? Kelly and I talked about that a little bit, and we're probably going to do it sometime in May. We haven't nailed down a date yet, but it'll be probably the first couple of weeks of May. I actually had somebody ask me, so. Okay. Other staff report. Kelly, you got anything going on? No. Leslie? Besides coming in on your vacation? <laughs> Okay, this time I'll open the floor up to anyone wishing to address council on matters that are not on the agenda tonight. Please come forward. There's nobody rising. We'll go to new business. Item number one is to consider upgrade to the traffic lights at Gear and Agency. Let's see, We're looking at changing those from the regular loop system to a camera system and Randy's got some prices there. The estimated cost of about $35,092. We've had really good luck with the, the cameras at Mount Pleasant and Gear. Um, it'll actually be a savings for us, especially in the long run by, by going with the cameras. We'll do away with the loops. We've already had one, a couple loops fail on agency and there's, there's so many loops in that intersection that I see a lot of problems in the future. Um, the main reason we've decided, I'd, I've talked to Jim Connor and I've talked to Dick Palmer by updating the controller, we should be able to go with the flashing yellow light on the left turn lanes. I don't know if you, you folks have ever seen that, but a lot of cities are going to that. On the left turn lane, when it goes from the, from the green arrow, the, there's a yellow, uh, yellow will start to flash to let you know that you're about, about to lose the green. And it, I think it, it'll be an advantage. I mean, the whole system, it's, if we're gonna go this far, I think we should just update the whole intersection so we don't have to have to do anything with it for, for quite some time. And then that would go to a green round after the flashing? There'll be, yeah, it'll still go to the, to the round. Okay but the yellow will flash to let you know the, that you're going to lose the arrow. Yeah. Okay. We're, yeah, I mean, we're good. not going to do that right now, but we'll have that capability. That's good. What, where's the money coming from? Um, we have enough left over in that geo bond. We've got about $47,000 in that geo bond. Okay. Those cameras might serve a double effort. They won't know if it's for changing signals or if it's <laughs> going through that red light. Yes. I see Kara do it every time. I was so just long. going to make that perfectly <laughs> clear that, uh, that these were yeah, not uh, cameras not that worried about know, speeding right? or running lights. <laughs> but those cameras kind of look the same, okay, so they Rod, just might we'll tell everybody double Because that. <laughs> that's the next thing we'd hear. <laughs> we need a motion on this, maybe? Yeah, motion to approve. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would make that motion. I think Rod, Rod, make the motion. Rod made the motion. Second. 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 A motion of support. <laughs> Any other discussion? Roll call. Lees. Aye. West. Aye. Browner. Aye. Raleigh. Aye. Stewart. Aye. Motion carried. Item number two is to consider payment front Renneker for engineering services. At the middle school, nine hundred and seventy-five dollars. Motion to approve. Support. Motion with support. Any discussion? Roll call. 
West. Aye. Crowner. Aye. Raleigh. Aye. Stewart. Aye. Lees. Aye. Motion carried. Item number three is to consider Officer Angela Boner's resignation from the police department. <clears throat> Angela has been serving the police department for about the last 15 years, and we appreciate your service. <clears throat> I, we're going to miss you. Yeah, you can step up. Say, step up, sit down, have a chair. Relax. Mayor Council, West Burlington Council members, City Administrator Gifford, who's not here, <laughs> and Chief Newberry. It is with a very heavy heart and great sadness that effective immediately. Thank you, Angie. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Angela. Don't take off. I got something I want to give you. Chief gave me these right before the meeting, and I want to present them with, to you, which are just, it's not very much right now, but I know he's got a couple of other things that he's going to give you. But it's a retired police officer badge, a couple of them. That, I don't know what will buy you, a cup of coffee maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it's government work. <laughs> Thank you very much for all your service. Thank you. Hope you leave a copy of that letter in the squad room. Angela. Thank you, Chair. I got a lot of good stuff. Your rookie years, remember? 
That's the, <laughs> yes. that's the video that's next, isn't it? Yeah, it's a tape. <laughs> there is a tape of her first chase. <laughs> Actually, you're not retired yet because nobody's made a motion to prove this. <laughs> Maybe you read it too soon. Yeah. <laughs> I make a motion to accept Angela's resignation with heavy heart. Second the motion. A motion with support. Is there any other discussion? Roll call. Crowner. Aye. Raleigh. Aye. Stewart. Aye. Lees. Aye. West. Aye. Motion carried. Thank you very much. Thanks, Angela. It's a tough profession to be in, especially. Can I get a copy of that? No matter if that? it's a big city or a small city. Item number four is to consider authorizing the police chief to start the process of hiring a police officer. Well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Motion to approve. Support. Uh, Motion will support. Any discussion? Roll call. Raleigh? Aye. Stewart? Aye. Lees? Aye. West? Aye. Crowner? Aye. Motion carried. Thank you. Item number five is to discuss options for selling lots in the middle school subdivision. Specifically, Dan's memo here is talking about the LMI lot. Um, we've got a few options there. Um, first, I want to let's let's set a date for the three other ones <laughs> and see what happens. What falls out? I think we're pretty much got everything ready to go with those. Just waiting on I don't some. think Kelly assured me of that. <laughs> <laughs> but I spoke to Kelly earlier today. I'm not well, sure she was assured of that. Well, I feel that way because that's what I hear from my city attorney last time we sat down okay. there. Well, yeah, it I won't know. take long. It won't take long. The only thing I, Mr. Mayor, the only thing I said to Kelly is we ought to allow like a month in there. From the day we say we're going to sell them to the day we sell them ought to be oh, rough, yeah. roughly right. a month. Yeah. And other than that, I don't care. I, I, you know. <laughs> I, I think they need to be advertised for roughly a month so people can prepare and think about what they need to do and, and round up their 15 or 20 percent down, whatever Mitch decides we want or we decide we want or whatever. So is May 1st uh, too early of a date? No, not. I don't think it is. But, I mean, that gives Kelly another week and uh, two and still a month to advertise them, you know. I mean, we're getting, once you get into... Yeah. May you're starting getting into yeah, the No, we need to do it as yeah. soon as we can. I just, like I said, I visited with Kelly earlier today. And I wasn't sure. Well, Mayor, we'll be having a council meeting May 1st. Should May we do it Wednesday? the day before, the day after for any reason? On what? Selling the lots? No, just. No, that's to start ever. Or, oh, no, just. If we promote April and sell them and sell them in May. May. Yeah, but so, I, I'm just saying. Yeah, May we're, council meetings, what? Like. Uh, May 1st. I thought it was yeah, a, it's, a, it's a Wednesday. Is it a Wednesday? Yeah, I just okay. So would we want to do the sell the lots the day before or the day after the council meeting? Or the day of the council meeting? Well, you can do it before. It may take a while. Yeah. I mean, it could take a little while to to do everything. I don't. And we were, th we were talking about if we do it, we're doing it here. Are we doing uh, I don't know if I that's what I, Mitch yeah, decided we, or not. I, it seemed to me it'd be just as easy to do it here and have Mitch and the paperwork all right here where you got a copy machine and everything you need. And yeah, he's, he's, open, have, he's open to that. That's yeah, Kelly would have all the stamps and anything she would need. might have to talk to him. Well, to how about doing it uh, the meeting before the, the first? second meeting in May then? The, the eighth? Give it more time. Or, <clears throat> or you, can, you can do it on, on, the May, on May 1st and approve at the following meeting. We might need to check with Mitch to make sure he's available. We have a meeting May 1st? May yeah. 1st and the 15th. Okay. So that would be like a great time to, for us to put in our last plug and advertisement for it. And I'd say the first day Mitch is free after that, he ought to just be here and do it. There you go. I, I don't think it needs to be a no, not a so date or day specific. I mean, you know, there's auctions every day of the week, so. 
I, you know, I, I think any day say, after that. Say sell between the first and the 15th. Yeah, there you go. You know, and whatever, whatever fits his whatever schedule. That, we can plug it that last time on May 1st at our council meeting to remind people that, you know, hey, by that time we should have a date from, from Mitch and say, hey, now don't forget, you know, we're gonna sell those lots on the third or the fifth or the whatever. Because that's the biggest deal is just getting the word out that, that we really are going to do this and we are moving ahead and they are available and you need to come this day prepared to buy them. Bring your checkbook. Sounds fair. Agreeable? Yep. Yep. Okay. Now the second issue, the one with already LMI, the low to moderate income lot. You can tell from Dan's memo five different options there or which one you guys like the most I think we need to work that thing out tonight um, so in I know when he did this that he hadn't heard back from Sarah yet no, we, haven't. But we still haven't heard anything well she has uh, last I talked with her Monday and nobody's been responding from the state yeah she just sent me an email today and said she still had not heard okay yeah. But yeah, she I has know. she has two other ones that are in the system that haven't started yet. So mm -hmm. she's got to get extensions for those. When I talked to Mr. Gifford about it yesterday, it didn't seem to be any more clear than it was when a we, couple of weeks ago. When we talked about right it before. Honestly. But with the information that we have now, number two on here is my preferred. Me too. <clears throat> Me, Me too. It's just the easiest. Just have Mitch put it in the contract. So auction the lot with the stipulation just, yeah. and the real estate contract that the house and the lot must sell for right. 150000 or less. Okay. Yep. I think that's just that's, as easy. That way they all four sell, sell basically the same way. The one just has an extra stipulation that, you, you know, if a contractor buys it, he can't put up a Taj Mahal. You know, right. which nobody's going to do there yep. anyway. And Mayor, we don't want to do this the same day just because we don't know enough, right? Is that what you're thinking is right now? I think we can all. I think they can all be auctioned off at the same time. Let's, let's, yeah, let's do that. Then. Yeah, we do them we all at the same time. time. Just that when we advertise this in the next four weeks, is that one lot has got is going to okay. have this stipulation on. Okay, it. and that's what uh, Kelly was worried about. I know today when I spoke with her is is getting the details because the minute the minute you tell the public we're going to sell those lots May fifth, they're going to be calling up here wanting, right. well, how's that work and what do I got to do and and how much money I got to have and you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I think that's her concern, and I understand that. She she needs to have all the I's and T's dotted and crossed. And well, that sentence right there should say it all to anybody that's inquiring. Yeah. Okay, now that you mentioned down payment, what are you expecting, 10%, 20% standard? Is that, I would think 10 to 20. I, uh, typical house auctions you get. 10, 15, 20, depending on, you know, they, you're going to be talking lots that are selling uh, 15 to $30,000. So 10% is only $1,500. Yeah. Bucks. That's not, not real binding there. Uh, you know, people could walk away from that fairly easy, where if you do 15 or 20, it makes it a little more secure, I think, maybe. I, I, I don't think it matters, but. 30 days to. 30 days, to, you know, to close, close roughly, on or about, typical option language on or about 30 days they'll have to have the rest of it what happens if you get somebody in there that wants just flat out bids and then can't get the financing well you should have well then you're going to keep their 15 or 20 percent down that's what I wanna, that, that, that's which, what is, I wanna which is the reason you want that to be <laughs> stiff enough yeah. to bring only serious people in here bidding on okay. it you know that's the reason you don't do it and say hey write me a check for five hundred dollars and i'll hold it for you <laughs> You don't do that because then then you're back to having to advertise a lot again and stuff. So um, it's like earnest money. So I don't I don't care what number you pick. I pick I, fifteen. Then. Fifteen's fine. Yeah, fifteen's fine with me. Thirty on or about that'll take care of weekends. Yep. <laughs> then the other thing I want to get clear tonight is which one of those lots is the LMI lot. And I don't know if we actually ever numbered them one, two, three, four, did we? Yeah, Kelly they're, did somehow or another. They're numbered. Steve numbered them one, being closest to Houston. Okay, so the furthest south lot is one. Not to Houston, I'm no. sorry, to Mount Pleasant. To Mount one Pleasant. Is, they started this way. 
They start, one is start on here. Fourth. One, two, okay. three, four. Four has a tree. Sorry. Working your way up. No. We talked about one has a tree. Lot two. One has a tree. Well, that'd be closest to Mount Pleasant. Yeah. That'll be two. Two has the tree. Two, two has, has a tree, tree, but it's not going down. Yeah, it's going to go down. That'll be good. Oh, it is. Yeah, <laughs> tree, tree on lot two is going to be gone. It's not good. So it's no not trees. a good tree. <laughs> Somebody's driveway might want to end up right in the middle. <laughs> oh. Oh, Randy shoot. made that power decision this week. Oh, I saw the guys getting rid of the old driveways today. Mm -hmm. We discussed making lot two, two, second one in the LMI lot for no, for no solid reason other than we had to pick one and we discussed making that. Yeah, because, yeah. Because you don't want it to be one of the two corner ones. Right. Correct. So it has to be one of the two inner ones. Either two or three, yeah. Sounds good to me. Okay. The one that used to have a tree. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. It's now in okay, we'll proceed What else, Kelly, there. are you worried about on that? Is there something else that oh, you need some kind of general consensus? That's get all this together and then. And I know you got to get with Mitch and get him to do it and so on and so forth. Okay. Okay. Do you need any kind of motions or any of that kind of stuff? Or are you okay? Oh, I think we've got the guidance here. Good. Because we'll, we'll all come back and contracts yeah. to you anyway. All righty. Item number six is to consider tentative union contract agreements for the West Park Police Department and the Public Works Department. From Dan's memo, you can see what the highlights were for both of them. Um, uh, pretty much the uh, Public Works highlights, we're going to, uh, sick leave will be converted to PTO, uh, which is the unused PTO converts a vacation of major sick leave, bank is full, uh, vacation carryover increases from 40 to 80 hours, life insurance increases from 30,000 to 50,000, uh, two employees may be paid $10 a month for certified pool operation certification, uh, wage increases, it's a three-year contract, First year, 3%, second year, 3%, third year, 0%. Health insurance deductibles increases from 300, 600 to 500,000. Uh, the employee share of health insurance premium increases capped at 20% 20, 20 of $140 per year, which is kind of uh, difficult to explain, but I'll, I'll try real quick. Um, at the present time, the employees are paying a certain percentage of the uh, insurance of their family premiums, uh, which is around $130 right now at, at this time. Um, what will happen with under this new contract, if the premiums go up, say like if they go up at uh, hundred dollars then 20 percent of that hundred dollars would be uh, twenty dollars that would be added on to that 131 if the premiums go up to 150 dollars the cap then kicks in of 140 which instead of the 30 dollars additional in premiums it would only be $28, and that $28 is the max over the three-year period per year or if the premiums go up. <clears throat> the other thing is if they go down, they also uh, reap the benefits of that. Uh, the city will pay an additional $25 for family dental insurance uh, for a total of $50. That's the public works highlights. The uh, police highlights additional shifts may be worked in four hour increments, uh, not required to work on scheduled day off before vacation, uh, physical fitness incentive tests in May or June, wage increases of uh, same contract, three year contract, 3% first year, 3% second year, 0% third year, uh, health insurance deductibles increases from 300, 600 to 500,000. Uh, the employee share of the health insurance premium increases capped at 20% of $140, same as public works. 
Uh, city pays for additional $25 for family dental for a total of $50. Same as public works and life insurance increases from $30,000 to $50,000. Mm -hmm. Those are what uh, bargaining committees have tentatively agreed to and this is what we city has also uh, negotiation has agreed to with uh, mediation through mediation. You want them together or separately, or what do you well, wish? Well, you can do them together as one motion. I would make a motion to approve both the public works and the police uh, union contracts. Support. There's a motion with support. I remember, this is tentative because right. we're still going to uh, have to go through the each side. I'll get the contracts, and I'll have to go through them, read them side by side, and make sure that everything's in there. That everything was agreed to and the union send that over to Dan this afternoon and he, he forwarded the email to me and the Leslie so we got those that we can and they also got them at the bargaining uh, units so they can look at them make sure everything's there but <coughs> assuming nobody's made any mistakes these right. these agreements that's, have that's already been reached with the union yep. so, okay yep. All right. and they've been ratified by them okay Well, I don't know who all was involved, but I guess I just quickly before we vote would like to thank Dan and Leslie and you, Mayor, or whoever else, and, and obviously our union employee representatives for getting this all worked out and done. Uh, it's good to have it done for another three years. Thank you. Roll call. Raleigh. Aye. Stewart. Aye. Please. Aye. West. Aye. Crowner. Aye. Motion carried. Any old business? Anyone wishing to address the council matters we did discuss or didn't discuss tonight? Please rise. Entertain the motion to adjourn. Oh, so moved. Support. All those in favor? Oh, Aye. 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 Aye.